Okay, we are live. So, welcome everyone to another live stream. Let's do a quick audio test. If you can hear us, let one us two, know. One two. Or better yet, if you don't hear us, please let us know before we go crazy again. So, Wolfgang is here again. What's up? Hello, everyone. <laughs> nice to be here again with you. Natal. Why a yellow shirt? <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. I have. First of all, I have to see this, to show this ah. here. The streets are our... Uh, why yeah. street? Yeah, you see? Why street? What's the topic today? <laughs> why is the, uh, uh, yes, why street? What is the topic today? Today is a topic. First of all, yellow. Yellow is one of the topics. Street is one of the topics. Philosophy is one of the topics. Let's start this with our discussion. Yeah, and let's quickly say hi to everyone in the chat. Uh, it's already full and... Good to see uh, Jeremy here. Alex is here. Alex uh, on streets, by the way, he, he bought a GS3. So he's a new GS3 user. Uh, uh -huh. Jack is here. Emma is also with us. Daniel Cho. Dead yellow. Yeah. Um, okay. So <laughs> maybe we can. I mean, you already seen in the intro, there's a new uh, special edition that uh, has come out today or it was announced today, right? It was yeah. announced today, no? There was a press announcement for today and it will be available in the market in, in mid of July. And uh, I don't know if we have it in the title or not, but it's called the Street Edition. So I don't know if I should talk about it because I'm, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, please, uh, please feel free because you are the first guy, I think, in Europe who got a camera. <laughs> and uh, yeah, <laughs> you got but it. But not the first one uh, who... You got it for the who published the video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no, but yeah, but you are the first serious one. So uh, my only question is, why didn't it say uh, Street Life Edition? <laughs> my Street Life. Okay, no one gets no, it. it. <laughs> it's, 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 no, 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 it's, it's very simple because um, the, um, we start with GR3 with a, this big success we never had before. Mm. And a lot of street photographers are using the camera for every purpose and that is to to give a honor to the camera and call them street edition you see that there's a gray body finish and there are different layer of of uh, color on it to give the them a special outlook like asphalt mm. like like the uh, the streets and to give the yellow point as uh, it's it's its counterpart to this gray to make a little bit much uh, to make it a little bit more attractive and so we uh, call them the camera street edition yeah i so i had it in my hands as you can see i i, I got it i'm not going to give it back <laughs> make me do it rico yeah. <laughs> no um yeah i personally really like the finish so as wolfgang was saying it's called uh, is there a name? I mean, it's asphalt. It's called an asphalt finish or asphalt-like texture, and it does look, um, yeah, like a street. It's 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 not rough. It's very smooth, and uh, but not not sticky. Surprisingly, it's like feels very good, and uh, I would say it does feel a little bit little bit more premium than the GS3, the regular one. Um, yeah, I think so. It, it, it feels a little bit more higher value. I think. Yeah, it, it's it's because really of nice. the gray. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it feels much better, and uh, it's not only very very honest. It's not only for street photography. That is for the daily journey. You have to use it, uh, and I think there will be a lot of women who will like the camera much more than the black uh, box only. And um, I think it's a nice one. Uh, let's let short make an announcement. What is the special with this? It's not only the color. There is uh, also special content in the box of the camera. Mm -hmm. Um, there is the viewfinder, the mini viewfinder on the top. Yep. There is a leather strap. And if you show it again from the front, there is a yellow ring. And friends, yes, yellow ring is not the best solution to be camouflaged on the, on the street. <laughs> How can I be invisible this, with that? <laughs> <laughs> you change the ring against the black one, mm. which is also part of the kit. So it's no matter, you can do whatever you want. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, you can. Yeah, you just show this. Uh, we have it here. That is a box, and, and yeah, you can see I, there's I, also the I black should have prepared the other rings because uh, it does look very nice with the black ring. I have to say. So personally, I would probably use it with the black ring, 
but um, the yellow or yellow orange ring there there's a reason why it's yellow orange i think it's inspired by the yellow taxi in new york maybe or you know the like you saw in the in the beginning the photos from achim katzberg he, he did a project about yellow on the streets and you have these um, yellow zebra uh, stripes so that's yeah. the inspiration right to give it an excellent and, color and from the street if you see this yeah if you see the signs in, in, in tokyo or wherever in, in germany we have uh, zebra crossing in, in white mm. but in a lot of other countries you can find uh, yellow as signal color and for for zebra stripes for for traffic signs and so on and uh, this is a little bit uh, in relation to this yes the yellow sign on the gray asphalt that was the idea yeah um yeah i, I would love to show some close-ups but it's okay. really hard right now because uh oh, i just want to show you this <laughs> because the viewfinder <laughs> um is also painted with this new finish yeah yeah yeah. i'm trying to show it in camera yeah but you, we can see this yeah. it's also at the same finish like the camera and on top you can find the marks for 28 millimeter focal length it's also in this yellow yeah. it's, an, it's a nice combination and and very honest it's it's not only for 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 streets i like it, like it much more for events for 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 parties everywhere <laughs> and uh, very 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 honest always the black uh, boxes uh, pentax is known for colorful cameras mm. if you see there was uh, let's think about uh, the Q series. There, I don't know, uh, 250 different colors you could uh, choose, or uh, the SLR cameras. Mm -hmm. We had 100 different colors. So uh, if we are talking about colors in photography for 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 the gear themselves, then it's Pentax, and uh, I like it. it. It's it's I like it more than only the black box mm. sorry to say again black box black box black box but <laughs> uh, we, we are always asked do you have no fantasy to to create a, a nice color or anything like this mm. yeah but if we have a red one it's it's not, also not not the best but with this gray it, it's looking high value yeah and it's it's a dark gray it's not like the camera shut suddenly super bright and it's mm. it's when you have the black ring on and without the viewfinder it's I don't have the black ring right now, but see if I take it off. It does look like yeah. the um, the GR2 special edition. Mm. It, it had some green uh, finish, I think, if I remember correctly. Didn't yeah, we have. I think you have yeah, one, had, right? Had, the, the green. Uh, the green was for the GR2. Yeah. But it looked similar the, uh, from a distance. It was a green, ah, dark okay. green, right? Yeah. Mm. Um, so I I definitely like this and um how can i get one <laughs> so it's available in july <laughs> <right>? already one <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so there are some uh, people we have to say hello yeah. there is now there is ties with us there is nick ward from uk with us there is Stuart chambers with us hi um people like my shirt uh, <laughs> but sorry you could you couldn't get it i don't know it's a it, it's a present for me from a good friend he said he gives this uh, shirt to me uh, after the first um, our first live stream. He sent it to me. Said uh, it's for you because you are the guy from the street, so <laughs> you belong to this. Nice. Uh, we have Ed from Chicago. We have Alex on the streets. Say already hello. Um, BQ Films. Uh, I see Chris from Vic UK. Also very busy Cross, GR yeah. shooter. Yeah, uh, we have Elizabeth with us. Fine, nice that you are all with us. Um, Nintaro told already something about the yellow, not the yellow, uh, the yellow T-shirt I'm wearing here. Uh, yeah, again, the street are ours. So uh, finally, the street are mine. And um, uh, why we would like to have this chat today. Mm. Um, Nintaro um, made... A video from a demonstration here in Hamburg against um, rec yeah, recommendations about COVID. Uh, people are 
ask to to use this mouth and and and, and nose uh, protector. Uh, people are asked to to keep distance of two meters, and we have a lot of people uh, here in Germany make demonstration against uh, Bill Gates, uh, against uh, WHO. People are against uh, so many things. Uh, they were. What is the English word, uh, Lintau? This aluhut. Tin uh, al uh, Okay. Uh, and, and we call them uh, kinfoil head uh, users or anything like this. And Lintaro made a lot of pictures. Um, very nice pictures. And um, his final questions, question was, um, I don't know why we are doing this video. I don't know why we're taking photos of all of this. Um, maybe you have an answer for this. And my first answer was, um, it's the job of photographers, it's the job of street photographers to to make a report of this. That is the, the job of photographers to make photos from times like this for the future. Um, just now, all of us are living in a history. In 20 years, uh, no, 20 years is, is too short, I think. But in 100 years, uh, mm. people will see in the annuals, uh, look, 100 years ago, a lot of people uh, dying and uh, people fighting on the streets and so on. And it's, I think that is the job of photographers to make pictures of this. And um, the next question was um, street photography. What is exactly street photography? What is the definition of street photography? Um, and that is always um, a discussion I had with Lentaro. And so we had idea to say, why not to do this discussion here with such a live chat? Um, with the GR3 uh, special edition, we found some pictures from Achim Katzberg. He is a GR photographer. He is using some other cameras, but for his daily journey, I call it everywhere, every time, uh, he is using a GR because it's small and the quality is much better than a, from a smartphone and uh, his pictures could be used for all other purposes. In the moment, in the moment where he's getting the pictures, he don't know the use or what he will do with this, but uh, the quality of this camera is high enough. So. Um, if we see his pictures, they are totally different than your picture. And the question is, Lintaro, what is, what is street photography? And as we start uh, with this discussion, I said, for me, the sources of, or the source of street photography is Vivian Meyer or Henri Cartier-Bresson. What are they doing? They are capture the moment. They, they're capturing the day, daily life. And, um, but Lintaro, maybe you could show some pictures I made. There are also pictures made on the beach. They are made pictures in a gallery. Mm. Uh, and the question from me to you is, are this street photo photographs or what is this? Oh, you want me to oh. critique your photos? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Um, um, for me, they are, they are all street photography because street photography is not one. Is this, sorry, yeah. that, is, that is made on the beach. Mm -hmm. Is this street photography? No, that, that is made on a, on a beach. But it's next to a street. <laughs> it's probably in a city. <laughs> so I, there's no. It's, no, it's far away. It's, 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 it's really. It's far away from a city. Okay, go ahead. I, I don't know what you, what, what you no, want to no, say. The, the, the question yeah. is, how would I call this type of photography? Mm. Uh, I I call this street photography, yeah. but uh, um, it is capturing the moment. And um, I think street photography, who could define street photography? Mm. Is there anybody who says, or who decides this is street photography, this is not street photography? Um, we heard with the, as we launched the, the first pictures, a lot of people says that is not a camera for street photographers. So that was argument from them. That is not a camera for street photographers. But what is a street photographer? Does a street photographer need always to be camouflaged only with a black box? Or could a street photographer also walk, work with a gray camera with a yellow ring on it? Hmm. Yeah, that's the argument we, we heard online today. Um, the yellow ring is 
too flashy, too, too in your face and how can you do discreet? But who says you have to be invisible, right? Like, I, I always think that it's, it's better to be open about doing street photography and let people see you, notice you. Um, of course, if you can, you want to be unconspicuous and you don't want to raise attention uh, to yourself. But if we think that we can become 100% invisible, then uh, that's not reality. And even if you have your pink ring on your camera or you, you're naked on the street, I think you can still do can still street photos. Street. Um, so, and I mean, it was smart uh, from you guys to include the black ring, I would say, um, so that you can choose. Sorry, sorry, yeah. I, I have to disturb you. Uh, do you have um, do you play uh, below of this mm -hmm. stream? Uh, Is it then? I I don't have music. Okay, uh, oh, right, Dennis yeah. says it's, it's, it's too loud. Sorry, sorry. Oh. That's the, the intro, the slideshow from the beginning playing in the ah, background. Okay. Sorry, Sorry, that was my fault. Good. So it's repaired now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, I was just saying that it, it's. I think it's impossible to be invisible, and it's it's also a question if we should aim for total uh, invisibility. Do we want to be totally uh, anonymous on the street? Um, for, a, for a specific reason, you could say yes, you don't want people to notice you, but we don't, we don't do anything in secret, or well, we shouldn't do anything in secret. So even if you have a pink ring on your GR, or I would also guess if you're naked on the street, of course you will um, bring the intention to yourself, but I think you can still do street photography, and it's more about how you act on the street and what your intentions are. People don't like people who do things in secret right no one likes it you want to be you want to be transparent especially if you meet a stranger you don't want them to talk behind your back and have intentions you don't understand so i think it's yeah. it's, a, okay. it's a dream to be invisible but maybe it's not the best idea yeah. way to do street um, photography um we had a lot of discussions and if i'm asking you about uh your language you are also uh, speaking uh, japanese and very often you told me that there are some words which couldn't be uh, translated to english or to german because there is no english or german word for this hmm. um, if we are talking about uh, street photography we are also talking about candid photography um, candid photography wh what does it mean is it uh, i translate for me it's it's open it's it's uh, it's honest, mm, uh, and yeah. if, if if I'm doing open and honest photography, that is that what you say. Mm. Um, I see the my motive as partner. Yeah. So far, it's okay. All of us knows the daily uh, that is our daily business. That as far as we uh, going out with a photo camera. People see the photo camera, they smile or they say, oh, no, no photos or whatever. Um, all our or the most pictures which are done are done if the photographer is not visible or if the photographer is not recognized as photographer. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, with a, if I'm on the road with the SLR camera, people keep me serious. There's a very, very uh, big problem from mm -hmm. me. The bigger the camera... Uh, uh, people think the bigger the camera, the more professional professional is a photographer. But uh, I think that is uh, misleading. I think uh, this and people with a small camera are not not serious uh, are, mm -hmm. are not serious photographers. Um, very often, if I'm going with my camera through the streets, people are asking me, please, no photos. Uh, this is my own. This is for private, and you are not allowed to to take photos of this. And uh, maybe they think that I will be, be come back later and 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 uh, steal their goods. But if a really uh, bandit wouldn't use a camera, he he is using his his smartphone and using video function and and capturing everything with with video. So, so um, people couldn't really see 
what you would like to do with your photos. Mm. And uh, I think the smaller the camera, that the the more people will see you as yeah, it's only for fun and and it's not not really serious. And that is the the uh, we make this or we see this as well on the demonstrations in Germany. Journal, not only in Germany, it's it's. Uh, I see this also in in USA. Mm. Uh, journalists uh, who are equipped with a camera are also. Uh, Meanwhile, it's forbidden to to use cameras, and they wouldn't see journalists in in, in Dresden. Nobody would like to see journalists. Journalists have no good reputation in the moment. But with a small camera, uh, you are not a journalist. Mm. You are only taking pictures for they don't know. And so they didn't take you serious. And now I'm coming back to you. Uh, So that is the tool you have to choose. To capture the moment, the right moment, I think. Mm. Am I right? Um, yeah, if you're talking specifically of the GR, then... Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry, I, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 would like, uh, I would like to know uh, what is your experience with a camera. Uh, ah. Do you, if ah, you okay. uh, made the same experience with, uh, like me, mm. that uh, the bigger the camera, the more professional you are, or the smaller the camera, that the, the more uh, funny you are with the camera. You only yeah. do it for, for hobby and, and, and so on. And I think uh, that is a chance for a small camera. And it's, it's not if it's black or if it's silver or whatever, it's only the camera themselves to be mm. camouflaged or to be, to be candid or however. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. And my brother, for example, he shoots only on a, a Pentax film SLR. And it looks very you know old school retro and people they don't they're not afraid of him because they know it's a film camera it looks friendly yeah. right but if you come up with a 1dx like a canon professional camera then people are a little bit more suspicious and as you said um journalists they they don't have the best uh, reputation and uh it's it makes sense to have a camera that uh does not um is not so aggressive and uh, of course you can take photos with the dslr shout out to lucas lucas palka from tokyo he shoots on a nikon d4 and that's also a big heavy camera but he's friendly on the streets he he smiles he talks to people afterwards and um he gets away with doing street photography on a on a big dslr but yeah people see a dslr and they immediately think oh professional camera if they see Mm -hmm. this camera they they think oh you're just having fun you're a tourist you're a hobbyist yeah um, yeah hobbyist yeah so but again you can still post them online so people are of course still always a little ah, bit worried yeah, post post them <laughs> that is another thing posting uh, pictures mm. um, I have just to say hello to Milad he is also now with oh, yeah. us yeah what's up bro and, and, <laughs> <laughs> and Milad is one of our guys here in Hamburg and uh, we are going together to this demonstration he's one of the journalists and <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the journalists, yes, uh, and and he made wonderful pictures. Uh, we have last weekend in Hamburg. It was, it was not this fine because there was uh, some firework against the policeman. There was bottles against the policeman. Um, there was we called it black block, mm-hmm. and th- that are people. They are not interested to to demonstrate against or for anything or against anything they only would like to make trouble they would like to make trouble with po- policemen and Milad was uh, middle in all of the skies and uh, he stand in front of the uh, the water uh, gun of the car- police cars it was very one- nice pictures he made and uh, I think th- that that is uh, that is photography themselves. I like this type of photography, for sure. That is uh, street life, but that is also reportage, I think. Yeah. And now, and that is that is uh, one differentiation, I think. Um, and now I'm back to to some other pictures. Um, it's it's more or less reportage, not not street. What is yeah again? What is street Lintaro? Tell me more. What is street? I mean, photography? street photography. Is is for me? It's just another form of of reportage or documentary photography. You're documenting what's happening on the street. There's, you know, traditional journalists or photojournalists. They they have they go on assignment. They have a project. 
they then has a start to finish. And with street photography, you just collect, you, you document, you can do projects, but for me, it's just a simpler way of doing photojournalism, but everyone can do it. Um, mm. You know, it's nowadays for street photography is a lot of things. It can be just architecture, it can be portraits. So, uh, yeah. Some pre purists are really against street portraits because they have to be candid, right? So we have people that say it has to be candid and other people say, yeah, but street portraits, it's fine. It's also street photography. So no one really has um, an answer to that. So I also wouldn't say, you know, don't be too... Uh, sorry, 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 yeah? sorry. But um, I think that what, there are people in some forums who think they could decide what is street photography. Of course, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, I, I, I Where remember else? In, 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 yeah, in, in a lot of forums mm. and um, take the picture from the beach. I think this is a type of street photography. Yes, I agree with you. And I would like to, to share it in this forum. And I know the first 20 answers will say that is, this is not a street photograph. Mm. Um, I think another thing uh, we said, uh, journalism, um, what is with this word snapshot photography? I think snapshot photography uh, is or another way around, sorry. Um, some friends of me, old photographers working with a film based 67 camera, 645 camera, and they says, nah, I'm not a street photographer. But they are traveling. They are traveling uh, through the northern countries and making pictures on the street. Mm. They're showing, uh, let us, as example, let us say, uh, talk about uh, Island, uh, Iceland. Uh, it's a wonderful island. And if I'm doing photos there with all the people on it, it's street photography, I think. But uh, he says, no, that is traveling photography. Mm. Again, another word for, for, for street photography. So yeah. uh, I, th I think um, we will never could find a definition of street photography. And uh, now I'm back in the beginning. Uh, so why? That is the answer to, to, the, uh, to the auditorium. Auditorium. Um, if you say the camera, the new camera, is not street like, uh, so my question is, why not? Mm. Yeah, I mean, we we should probably also mention that in Japan, because Rico's from Japan, uh, they call street photography just snap photography, and for us, we hear snapshot, ah, okay. and it doesn't sound like something worth mentioning or something honorable to do. Snap photography. Is snapshots that we have a bad um, it has a bad reputation you're like oh you're just doing snapshots but in yeah. Japan snap means um, spontaneous you know you capture something uh, you document yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's what's in the the heart of the GR is it's a snapshot for uh, camera and street photographers just pick this camera up and use it for street photography but there are also people who use it for you know, capturing every everyday life, documenting what's going on on a film set. When you know, cinematographers, they they I know a few that use the GR, for example. I did it too. If I when I shot uh, videos, I always had my GR as like my behind the scenes camera. So it has many uses, and street photography is just one genre um, under the big genre, which is snap photography, but. I think we are not here to to say what's right and what's wrong. Yeah, okay. But uh, I got uh, some answers from the viewers. Um, first of all, I have to say hello, Fräulein Artik. Hello, nice to see you here again. There is also Alex Weil with us. There's Christian Cross. You said already. Um, there is Alex Weil. There is uh, Street Cred stories with us. Uh, Say hello to everybody, but um, cheetah but, slate. <laughs> okay, cheetah, cheetah said that's that's nice. Whatever Samuel decides, <laughs> it is end of. Okay, so Answer, now we are finished with the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, there's also a nice uh, comment from um, uh, 
Christian Cross I read. Sorry, I have to, to see here. Um, uh, people think that is street photography is a type of snapshot. Everything what is made on the street is street photography. Yes, but my problem is I made some some pictures also in a in a museum or I if you see the the girl with the the, 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 the uh, hairs mm -hmm. and and it's made in a gallery and but is it street and I'm wondering always if I show the picture in in, in street photo um, communities people blaming me say uh, that is not street photography and uh, the picture I made on the beach it's always well, it's also not street photography so it's uh, difficult yeah. So I will uh, see. Christian Cross says he is taking photos. Anything that his eyes catching mm. that is correct. Yeah, and he says he, he doesn't call himself a street photographer, but photographer. And I like that too because when you say you're a street photographer and you post a photo of something else and something in nature, then yeah. suddenly it's like oh, I, I thought you were a street photographer. And yeah, I think. Yeah, that, that is, that is, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and now coming back to my, I have another problem with my Instagram account. Uh, people, uh, strict street photographers, mm. has a on their Instagram account. They have only pictures uh, from from the street. Mm. Uh, but but I'm with absolute agree with uh, Christian. Uh, my I see a lot of things and. Uh, I like to make photos of this and, and not limited to pictures made on asphalt or on the gray asphalt. Uh, so I think what your eye is seeing, you could capture. And uh, But then I'm back to snapshot photography. Yeah. Now you have to talk because I have to read. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I have to perform. <laughs> uh, yeah, in Japan, it's called snap photography and they... Most Jap Jap Japanese people, it's, it's just my experience, They, when they hear street photography, they don't really know what that is. They don't really, if, if you say snapshot, ah, oh, okay, they get it. So it's, it's every country has a different, also different perspective. What is the mother country of street photography? What do you think? Uh, you traveled a lot of, I think. Uh, you, you, you're doing mm. a lot, or you... you a lot of trips to to japan and uh, if i see your um, your your videos uh, you meet a lot of photographers them and mm. uh, because uh, no not because i like the photos and now because um, it gives for me an insight of the of the cities you are visiting normally When I, if I'm using or if I'm traveling to, to Tokyo, uh, what I'm doing is going to the Tokyo Tower. Mm. I'm to one of this uh, this uh, Buddha shrines, at, and 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 uh, I'm going to Ginza. And but so far that's it. And uh, okay, I have not the time like you because I'm there on a business trip, but. Uh, Your pictures showing much more from Japan than my, or from much more from Tokyo than my pictures. So I think um, Japan is Japan one of the motherlands of, of street photography. Mm, you know, we it's hard to say what was the first ever street photograph, and there is one I just had to look it up because I forgot uh, what the name. Uh, was on maybe I can even show it on the screen uh, stream if you give me a minute but there's this photograph from um, Okay, you can look, and I, I'm re reading some comments here. From from says, uh, 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 it's it's always it's uh, that is opinion from from a lot of guys saying what my eyes are seeing. That is, uh, I catch the moment. That is street for me to catch the moment. Uh, so um, I think if I see one, or if I'm reading one opinion in the in in. in in blogs or in, in, in forums, 
I, I feel blamed by them. I think, oh, maybe I made the wrong picture. But uh, I think a lot of you agree that um, a lot of you agree with me that that what your eyes is seeing or what, what your eyes is, is capturing that could be recognized at photo. And that is for me street photography, wherever, <laughs> on the beach or wherever. So, sorry, uh, you found a picture? Uh, yeah, I think my yeah. mic was muted suddenly. People are saying no sound, but I think it's yeah, back. Yeah. yeah, okay, it's back. And I, yeah, I just uh, show this photo here um, because this is the first recorded street photograph and it's totally different from what we know today, but there is actually a person on the street or maybe two, I can't really see, but, but the rest yeah, are but, just buildings. And But, but very honest, uh, mm. would you call this picture a street photo? For me, it's uh, it's a picture, it's it's uh, architecture photography. Mm. I, I, is, I, I would say, I would call it street a street photograph because there are people in the street and it's, no, it's just, for me it's a scene. No. For me, no, it's a scene because there's no. something happening uh, on what the, are the bottom. What, what are the people doing there? You don't, you couldn't see what they are doing there. That, there's that is there's for, for... one person doing something with his leg or her leg. I can't <laughs> see it, but it is a scene. If you, I mean, at that time they didn't have, you know, uh, like a monochrome, like a M10 monochrome with the super high resolution or a GS3, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> so they they couldn't. Uh, see the details but um yeah who, uh, who knows Tristan, what the word first where christian, yeah, christian says uh, mm -hmm. again um i would call it street documentary and um i think documentary is for me documentary is the the real world uh, word for all what we are doing we are doing documentary with all things we as photographers are doing is uh, is uh, okay, Chida? Yes, Sam will decide, but I will convince him that he decide in this way. So uh, I think documentary is that what we are doing. We are documentary photographers, I think. And uh, you could, and if come if I come back to your photo you showed just now, and if I come back to the photos from Henri Cartier Poisson, uh, Vivian Meyer, uh, Eddie Everett, and whatever, they are documenting the time. As they yeah, they documenting the daily journey. If I see the what what is special with with two, two policemen on horses, that is there is nothing uh, in this. Event. That is very uh, day by day. You can see uh, policemen mm -hmm. on the horse. Uh, and uh, but twenty years later, fifty years later, it's documentation of the past, documentation of the history, and so I think. We are not only street photographer; we are uh, documentary history photographers. Yeah, yeah, and for for us, these photos, um, Etienne is saying Robert uh, Don Donio, I think is how you pronounce it, um, French photographer. I, I love his photos; they're amazing. And if we see them today, they're even more amazing than they have been uh, at his time. So when we take a photo, a street scene. Um, I think it it has value just to to capture the mundane daily life um, things that are happening that are boring for us maybe, um, but they will become interesting someday because it's it's a document of what was happening. Now everyone is wearing masks. We have iPhones, smartwatches. Yeah. When when did we get the first smartwatch? It's not so long ago. I remember a time where we never saw any smartwatches. Not that they stick out in a street scene, but you know what I mean. This it's uh, things that are, you know, that are happening in our times. Uh, if we don't take pictures, they don't get documented, or maybe not well enough. So yeah. street photography for me, I would agree, is a form of documentary uh, photography. Um, of course, you can also um, play with the aesthetics of a street photograph. You can play with objects, graphics lines shapes yeah. colors yeah. um and that is also a valid form of street photography you can have fun and be creative and have a voice without documenting a scene you can you can you know play with architecture and so it's not it's really not hard to say this is street photography uh, i mean it's really not easy to say because there are so many things um you can call street photography 
but you know all the guys uh, it's more or less the old man of photography they say well I ne please never call me a street photographer but uh, if you're showing this picture from the uh, house uh, people says it's urban landscape Alex on streets says um, yes it's it's landscape it's an urban landscape and um, I think everybody could find his place in the world of documenting and uh, for me it's it's always difficult if people think they could decide what is a good photograph and what is a, a bad photograph mm. I never said that I'm uh, a good photographer I don't know uh, people should other people should uh, decide if they like my pictures or not mm. uh, and uh, I, I don't know I heard never from you that you are proud to make a special photo uh, but be sure that there are a lot of pic uh, pictures uh, they are very very good from your side and but there are also pictures from a lot of other people never thinking to be uh, create a famous picture but uh, and now I'm back to your to that what you say creativity that is i think it's also one of the main points that uh, it's not enough to only make picture from people off the street mm -hmm. if you see the forums or facebook forums or whatever it's so boring people uh, take the camera into people making photos of other people and said that's it now i'm a street photographer but that's not a street photographer uh, you have to tell a story you're a storyteller uh, with street photography and uh, there is is is, is uh, one picture from me yes, let's take it about let's take the picture from the beach to people sitting on the beach looking to the water to, to the heaven i think that is a story uh, mm -hmm. and, and 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 people can follow this and uh, also i have a picture with it's only black and and, and one white stripe down and uh, because there is a man who is looking outside of the room and there is a story but there is not not a story it's not a story to make only pictures from people there is only every time there has to be a counterpart uh, there has to be a, a thing part of the picture who makes people laughing or uh, who makes people thinking i think that is the important part of of documentary and street photography am i right Again, who says what's right and wrong? In this case, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we can say, and uh, it's a good point. Falsch Farm is saying, does it even matter? And I think it does not really matter unless, uh, as long as you enjoy what you're doing. And I think most photographers, they just, they just want to be remembered and have some something that can they yeah. can leave behind. And uh, you know, some are you know selfless and they just want to provide us with great photos. But uh, there are only a few, I think, that really are that selfless. Most of us, let's be honest, we want to leave something behind and um, have photos like Christian is also saying. He wants people to, in 20, 30 years, uh, remember some of his photos. Maybe um, that would be something he uh, would want to work towards too. And um, yeah, because why, why, why even taking photos when... Some people say, you know, I take photos just for myself. And I think mm. that's that's a little bit weird because I don't need to capture it. I can see it. So I capture it because I want other people to see it. Mm. So, if, yeah. Uh, so it's very subjective. Uh, right uh, at the end. Yeah, okay. My pictures are not only for me. I would like to, to mm. share my pictures with others because uh, I make... Uh, every. I think everybody of us would like to hear a uh, nice mate or or have to have a thumb and 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 that mm -hmm. is that what we have to f all of us would like to find friends who like my pictures um on the other hand side i'm starting in in, in germany there is a big group it's called photo community and uh, photo community there are so many members photo community is a web web yeah. related uh, yeah, uh, other countries I don't know if they know photo community and uh, in photo community as I started everybody says oh nice picture nice picture mm -hmm. uh, it was only a picture from a sunset or it was only a picture from a, a building 1000 people did it already so it couldn't be a nice picture and and that brings uh, that you, you couldn't be 
next, make the next step with such comments. But uh, if people say, oh, that's a nice picture, but you could do it in another way, that brings you on another level, I think. Etienne is saying here, uh, photography is so subjective. And I think that is correct. Um, very, very often I said, you don't need to make a photo because everything is already uh, made. Every photo is already made. I'm absolutely sure. Uh, in my idea, you don't need to have an old camera. Uh, uh, you could be linked to a database. And mm. if we say, as example, you are uh, the weather conditions on your trip to London or Paris is not the best. So it's cloudy and it maybe is rainy. Uh, you are going to the Eiffel Tower or Tower Bridge and making your photo and uh, send it with your smartphone to this database. And the database says, ah, uh, especially from this point, other people make already a photo with nice weather uh, circumstances and, and uh, wonderful heaven. And please use this. And um, so that is the answer. Every picture is already made. But uh, what Etienne uh, says, photography is so subjective. And uh, I think looking for stripes, looking for special moments in the picture, that make the difference between all the other available pictures and your pictures. And then I'm with you, uh, Vintaro. Uh, that is the job of the photographer to see this, to, to arrange the picture in a new way never seen before. Mm. Yeah, very engaging chat at the moment. Everyone is giving their two cents. Very cool to see you guys participate. Don't be friends with Bruce Gilden, <laughs> says fellow citizen. Yeah, I mean, we, we don't want to talk about specific individuals. We all have our fans and uh, not fans, our idols. And um, you know what I just realized, Wolfgang? We haven't talked about um, the one feature of the new GR3 Special Street Edition. Yeah, okay. Okay, your <laughs> favorite your favorite feature. Yeah, and, I, we have uh, to talk about it. Cause that, that, that is... That is the first thing um, I heard from. Uh, I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Wonsono or what is his name? Wonsino uh, Jeremy. Wonsino. Ah, Wonsino. Now, okay. Uh, he says um, he would like to have a faster autofocus with a GR. Mm. And, and I asked him to use the snapshot function. Mm -hmm. uh, and he never will use uh, autofocus again. Um, and now we are again back to the to the reason or to to why I'm making photos and from what I'm doing photos. Um, meanwhile, uh, I'm using my GR as well for architecture and as well for nature photography. Uh, last time we talked about this Nisi filter holder, mm. and uh, with this filter holder and the small filter plates. I could use this on another level also for nature photography. Yeah. And um, uh, but you are using the camera for. Uh, also, what I would like to say is, uh, if I'm doing this photography, I'm using as well a tripod. Not the big tripod I'm using for SLR camera, but uh, it's stable enough and uh, maybe a little bit oversized for the small camera. Uh, but if I would like to have uh, long time shots, I need a stable tripod. Um, and if I'm using a tripod, I have all the time to set up the focus. So it's no problem for me. But if I'm in a hurry, like we were on the demonstrations, Lentaro, mm. last week, and we had no time and we couldn't concentrate us for the setup for the camera, then this, the snapshot function is wonderful i think and now coming back please explain again snapshot photography okay um so there's a new feature on the rico gs3 street edition and uh, it's called full press snap by lcd and i will do a quick um i will do explain what full press snap is uh, in, in case you never used the gr um although i have a bunch of videos explaining that already but uh, basically you use the autofocus always on every camera on the shutter button or you can assign the back there's a back uh, focus button back button focusing uh, it's called very useful i used it a lot during my dslr days but on the gr you can use autofocus on the shutter button 
and you can set a distance that you want the camera to snap on at any moment. And you can do that by just fully pressing in the shutter button. That means you are bypassing the AF. Uh, so that means you have to press hard on the shutter button and it will jump to whatever distance you set your camera to. And on street, it makes a lot of sense because when, when I, I don't know if any of you guys shot film or manual focus, uh, it's very hard to manual focus moving subjects. So you just forgot to forget about manual focusing and you you set your focus to one meter or two meters and then you close the aperture and get a very broad focusing range. Um, so I do, for example, two meters f f11, then I have one meter to infinity or 10 meters uh, in focus. So I don't need to worry if someone is two meters in front of me or three, they will be in my range of focus. So you can just do manual focus, of course, but snap focus allows you to still use the autofocus button in case you want to be precise or change the focus. Um, so <laughs> on the GS3 Street Edition, we finally have uh, touch to release the shutter. So touch to focus is already there in the regular GR and also touch to focus and releasing the shutter, but not touch and just straight release the shutter. So in this case, uh, I will try to show it in the menu. Um, oh, before I show that, so the concept is you touch the, the, the display and that way you activate the full press snap. So you don't do the full press on the shutter button, you do it with the display. And I will show you after I show you the menu why this is very convenient. And I hope everyone from Rico is listening to the stream <laughs> and give us this feature on the regular GR. <laughs> so, okay, I'll try to go close and still have my yeah. microphone here. So here in the menu, um, okay, one quick fix. The LCD is a little bit too bright. So again, here's the menu. And under C, uh, we have uh, touch AF. And this is where you find now uh, full press snap. So that wasn't there before. This is only, for now, it's only on the new GR Street edition. So that's, uh, that is activated. And you can see I have face detection on and AF. So I can use the autofocus regularly. But now I can just touch the screen and it will take a photo. Oops, I, of course I have to touch uh, the screen and that outside. See, it's always taking a photo from one meter distance. And if I change it to, oh, it's very hard to do this uh, in reverse. So for example, five meters and I focus on my face and I'm very close to the camera right now. But when I touch the screen, it just took a photo of something that is five meters in front of the camera. And that is super cool um, because, of course, snap, snap focus or the snap mode uh, in itself is a cool feature. But um, just look at how I hold my camera and uh, doing this. You can also hear the camera now. Everyone noticed you're taking a photo, but if I do this, yeah. am I taking a photo? I can even lift my finger. I mean, it's a little bit harder now, but I could just rest it here. Like I'm taking photos right now and you don't know it. Yeah. So it's it's super cool. I think this is would be my preferred way to use um, full press snap because sometimes you you if you take your time and you are too slow, uh, it will activate the autofocus. So you always have to really press in hard <laughs> um, to to get full press uh, snap. So yeah, just touching the screen now is very really cool. I like it. Coming, I want it. Coming back to the uh, use of the touch screen, mm -hmm. I I don't like touch screens, so I always have, have problems with my nose. Uh, oh, with you a, can take photos with, with a, your nose. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> no, with, a, with normally I'm using SLR cameras yeah. and then uh, or cameras with a finder. I'm, I like to use finders and uh, so yeah, <laughs> and always making pictures in the nose. Yeah. And so I, I hate the, the focal or the, the, the this type of monitor. But with GR, mm. with this new camera, I start to love this uh, because um, it's the handling. It's it's much easier 
um, first of all, I, I made a setup to press and uh, and uh, use the shutter, pressing for, for autofocus and, and, and shutter in one only one touch. And now I'm using it only to pre autofocus and then um, shutter. And that's very, very convenient. And as well, if you see on the now camouflage photography, what, that, that is that what you shown just now. Hmm. Uh, you, you could make pictures out of the hip. Uh, you don't have to to take the camera and and the the, the finger on the uh, shutter. Uh, it's <laughs> you can probably push the GS3 Street Edition to your naked hip and it will take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it it gives it a little bit more freedom. And you think uh, we should have this in, in every camera? <laughs> I think, I mean, yeah. on the GS3, it makes sense. Um, the, yeah, the snap yeah. mode makes sense in every uh, AF camera, in my opinion. Yeah. For street, it's yeah. very convenient. Or Martin. Or Martin, has, Martin says just buy. Uh, nice that you were with us. Um, and um, yeah, we will. Um, uh, see Maria says uh, which firmware. Yeah, we will see what's happening with the new firmware. And I don't know if this will be part. <laughs> I'm finding but, new ways to, to take photos now. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm sure that there will be opportunity to add it to the uh, to the standard firmware because um, part of the principal part of the camera part with of the, the uh, <laughs> is is. Uh, that that we will from time to time we will release new functions with firmware and improve the function of the camera. So I'm I think we will get it also for for our GR3 as well. Uh, we are asked last last uh, chat we were asked is there a new camera? Uh, we announced a new camera with this uh, chat here, but uh, also questions about GR4. Please don't hesitate. There will be a it's new a little camera. Bit too early. Yeah, yeah, but it's too early. The camera, the, the GR, is, is only one year old. We and, are not so uh, old. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and for sure, there will be some uh, other functions which could be reliable or which, which could be good for, for the one or other purpose. But for the time being, there is a GR3. And don't wait for a GR4. I think at least. <laughs> At least, it will need another two years for uh, a GR4. So the yes, <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the uh, the product or the, the 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 life of the product is much longer than one year. Meanwhile, and it makes no sense to launch every year a new camera only to make a GR3 Mark II, three, four, or five only with one new function. That is not the principle of the GR3. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, Kenneth, I'm I'm absolutely agree with you. Kenneth, pixel shift is a nice idea, and uh, that is that what I'm always asking for. Pixel shift. It could be a reason, or it could be the answer could be that uh, the processor is not fast enough. But that is a function I'm really waiting for because this gives another new level for the use of the camera, especially for nature photographers. Christian Cross and Eastberg boys cheating together. And sorry, I missed the, the answer from, from Eastberg boys. Sorry. Uh, Better not uh, read what was the topic. Okay, okay good. Okay, okay. <laughs> Um, yes, Maria, you can be sure that uh, there will be some more new functions with the camera. Uh, until the oh, end of the Adam, Adam says yeah? uh, he's quoting something that he probably found online a press release from the street model it says it will be available in the standard GS3 via firmware update that is scheduled for release later this year so it means it will probably okay. come to the GS3 okay yes why not it's 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 nice thing especially for you and your black box uh, you will have this as well yeah, there i want to be invinci invis invisible invincible <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the black ring uh, uh, by the way um, we had a lot of requirements for the blue ring for the uh, gr3 uh, as we launched it all the first uh, orders got as well also the the blue ring 
and you can see all the early birds and uh, that or you can recognize early birds with a blue ring around of the lens and uh, we had also a green ring we had also in the past a red ring that is an accessoire for the camera and uh, it makes it a little bit different all of us would like to be a little bit different and uh, why not? And I'm absolutely sure the yellow is not the last uh, color of the ring we will have. There's a question from uh, Carlos uh, Corona. <laughs> will the accessories of the special edition will be available for purchase? The viewfinder strap or ring? Or is it only? Only with, with the... a box. Only, only yeah. with a kit. You couldn't, uh, you could order the, 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 the finder as well it's in in black color normally mm. you could also order a hand sloop for the camera and uh, but only the only in the box in the street edition uh, you get this three special because the strap is really i really like the strap because it's not yeah, you, that big it's it's, it's very uh, stiff once you tighten it it's actually not that hard. That and I, I like this. <laughs> I like this. Yes. Yeah, uh, it's really nice. Uh, yeah. 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 So. Uh, I mean, that's why it's called a special uh, edition kit. Yeah. yeah. It's a strap with a yellow ring around of this for fixing on your wrist. Mm. It's the uh, it's the 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 viewfinder, the mini viewfinder. It's a ring, and then there is a second battery uh, with this kit. So there are, that is also yeah. part of the kit. One day, this will be on eBay for 10,000 euro. <laughs> ah, we, as far as I remember, there will be 3,500 pieces of this camera. Oh, yeah. Good. We have to mention that. Yeah. Uh, we will have uh, 800 exclusive for Europe. Oh, just 800? 800 I mean, for Europe, yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's 3,500 uh, worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide. Mm. Hmm. And uh, I'm a fan from a web page called Japan Camera Hunter. Yes, uh, you know this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People uh, showing uh, the equipment, what they yeah. are using. And I'm always surprised that they're still using old GR analog cameras. And yeah. uh, I think the cameras are meanwhile 20 years old or anything like this. They are still using... And I hope, I hope that from this 3,500 GR3, only two, three, four, five will stay alive, and then the value will much higher than before. So it's a good investment in a camera. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> find, finding the special edition GR2 or um, the other ones, the GR digital ones, they're very hard to find, yeah. and they are usually more expensive because uh, they are rare. Natalo, I mm -hmm. have um, now another question with regards to my philosophy question, with my philosophy problem. Um, we clarify that I could call me street photographer, uh, also if I'm doing photographs on a beach, but as far as I can read, the real, 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 real street photographer is doing his photos with analog on films that is the real 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 street photographer who, who says who says that <laughs> <laughs> the same voices as I, they said that i'm not a real street ah, okay, photographer I see. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah and I'm, I'm really also people say i could never shoot the gr as it has no viewfinder uh, i can shoot on lcd and unless you haven't tried it I think it's you can't really say that without trying it because I was always viewfinder only guy and when I had the first year 2013 um, it made me shoot differently and now I actually prefer using the LCD in most cases for a specific type of images because I can be very you know I can read reach out with my arm I don't always need to be on the camera with my face and now with this touch uh, to snap focus uh, feature you can shoot everything so um of course there's a good reason to have a viewfinder as well but uh, i wouldn't say you know you're a true street photographer when you only use manual focus and viewfinder that's 
BS. But, but another question. Uh, yeah. Emma says um, GR again with film very, would be very, very nice. But um, there is another request from the market. Um, people would like to have a black and white camera. Uh, mm. That is also part of the philosophy. Uh, if every street photograph has to be in black and white, that is also a question of the philosophy. Uh, I think uh, street photograph could be in color and could be in black and white. It, there is no need to be only black and white. This is uh, th that is my philosophy. It, it's depending on the picture. Um, if we would like to capture this yellow stripes on this on the road, you have one zebra crossing in in, in Japan. You know this big zebra crossing where mm -hmm. thousands of people crossing in one minute. Yeah. Uh, I think this picture is only impressive because of the yellow stripes. So this has to be made in color. It makes no sense to have this in black and white. Or am I wrong? Uh, I would I would <laughs> definitely be interested in a black and white GR. Yeah. Um, it's it's a, it would be for a very few people though because I don't I don't I only know a few that really commit to black and white or color. At least when you shoot color you can always convert them to black and white but uh, it would be there's definitely market for it but it's definitely a mm -hmm. niche yeah. product yeah yeah um, but I I, I, would, I would get one yeah <laughs> me as well me, me as yeah. well and uh, I think but I don't know if the sensor is available on the market this is a question of, 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 of technique themselves mm. uh, but uh, to find some last words i think uh, we talked more than one hour uh, about only philosophy of 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 of, of uh, street photography and maybe we could have a much longer discussion um but uh, this black and uh, the there are so many requirements for a new camera and people asking us for a telephoto camera we had a discussion or i heard a discussion that in times of corona Uh, we will have bigger distances, so we have uh, also used longer focal length. So we have telephoto lenses, and but it makes no sense in a compact camera to have a telephoto uh, lens because it's it's for, uh, depending on the sensor, you need a special size for for telephoto lenses. So it makes no sense in a compact camera to have a for IPS-C compact camera to have a telephoto lens mm -hmm. as well it makes no sense to have a 28 to 200 millimeter <laughs> lens in a in a gr camera that is not a gr camera um, mm -hmm. as well it makes no sense to have uh, again a viewfinder in it again uh, again um, a flashlight in it and together with the uh, sensor um, so there are different requirements for a camera and um, I'm I think I'm well I'm convinced that in the future there will be not only a GR3 maybe there is place for a GR zoom or anything like this we see that people accept the camera like it is and uh, why not to come to, it's not what you say we are not Sony uh, if you need a 28 to 200 millimeter camera, you can buy it. It's only, it makes no sense to, to uh, offer it again as a GR camera. But I think there could be reasonable solutions for, for next cameras, like black and white or anything like this. So yeah. uh, the story is not not told till the end. Mm. What do you say? Because I'm, I'm not an insider what goes on behind the scenes, but in terms of uh, how well the GS3 was received from the market, do you think uh, there was a big push for you guys? I, I feel like there was a little bit big more than with the GL1 or 2, would you say? Um, we, we had never discussion like this hmm. before of GR3. Um, we met two years ago, uh, ago on Fotokina first time, and it was very very enthusiastic to see the GR3 mm. because you was a GR fanboy already for sure. But a lot of other people says, now we come to another, sorry to say again, this word to another level with the camera. And mm. uh, there is a, there are a lot of 
a lot of it's, it's a different word. There are some, no, I would say a lot of a lot of uh, professional photographers. Meanwhile, using as well GR because they need a camera for the pocket and need their pocket cameras. And what I said uh, in the beginning, um, the same with Achim. In the moment you shot the photo, you don't know what you will do with the photo in the end. So you have to to have the best quality you can get with raw files and uh, make it usable for so many other things. A friend of mine is motorsport journalist. He is uh, joining this rallies with, with the old timers. And uh, if he is sitting next to the driver, there is not this many space in, in, this, old, in this old cars. And uh, normally he is using a Nikon camera, Nikon 850 anything like this mm. and uh, with big equipment with a, a big bag and so on but in the old timer uh, he couldn't reach this and he is taking his, his GR out of his pocket and doing a lot of uh, documentation of this rallies with this camera you met him as well uh, it was yeah. on Osila you met him in Hamburg and uh, uh, there are a lot of magazines. Yeah, he makes money things. by yeah. using the GR3. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, so you can make uh, money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, uh, that is the reason you need a GR3. You could do you pictures. You could, uh, yeah, pictures you could do with every tool. That is not a problem. But hmm. uh, the more serious you are working, the more uh, you are living from your pictures, the better quality you need. And uh, so there is a need for a camera hmm. like GR. Sure. There's a question in the chat. I think we can quickly address is why uh, there's uh, Stephen Clark is saying he has the GR2 now, and he loves using it. But he, it took him a while to get used to the fixed lens, and he wants to know what was the thinking behind not having a zoom lens. And uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 very simple to explain. The principle of the GR3 is it should fit into a pocket, hmm. and uh, now we are back to physics and uh, of physical matters and uh, the sensor of the GR3 is APS-C sensor that means that a reliable or a good quality lens need a specific size hmm. that, that is that is physics themselves and uh, that makes it no longer to be a pocket camera hmm. and that is the reason to have a camera like this with a fixed focal length and nothing else. Um, the friend from me buy, uh, bought the camera just one week ago. Uh, is wondering if he should use the 21 millimeter uh, adapter, and he decided no. He would do everything with the 28 millimeter, and if he need a little bit more crop, it's no problem with mm. the number of pixels of the camera. Yeah, and I mean, when you have a prime lens, you also get. Better, uh, better lens performance because it is the lens is fixed the distance is set and it's not changing and if you have a zoom lens then yeah. you can't get the same quality throughout the range the zoom range um, and I think 28 is very close to what the smartphone is capturing so it's a very versatile field of view mm -hmm. Uh, Lintaro, yeah. please have a look on the bottom of the camera. Uh, where is the camera made? Is it also made in Vietnam? It's also ah, it's, it's made it's, by okay. nobody. It's, it's a, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sure that it's also made in in, in Vietnam. Uh, I made it myself. Russell Rosso is asking. Yeah, Russell Rosso is asking this. Uh, Russell is asking this mm. as well. Yes, there is a new firmware. Um, Lintaro explained already the snapshot function on the screen. That is new and. And now that is wonderful, Lintaro, because we have to come to the end. And so I would like to say, if you switch off the camera, oh, there is a special yeah, close-up yeah. uh, screen on the camera. Yeah, we so there is a new that. firmware. Yeah. Do you want me to show it now? Yeah, yeah, show it now. So pay attention because it will be over very quick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we, we couldn't see this, this this good. It's also a gray and uh, asphalt-like um, shut screen. So this mm. is also special. Yes, there is a special firmware on it. 
uh, but with a snapshot and uh, yeah, yeah, we can see this. That is a nice part. Yes. Yeah. So Lentaro, That's we so nice. talk a lot of, and um, I'm sure that you will prepare some movies, some videos for us with the camera. I mean, there will be a video coming out in more detail about the new GR3 Street okay. Edition. Yeah. Um, and I also... we will show it on, on our page on the and so yes. I have to ask people again please subscribe this channel because um, only if you are subscribed you can get some information and uh, about news and uh, so we inform you if Lintaro is prepared with the video Yeah. yes Lintaro oh, this was, it was a question Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can't say 100% for sure, but it will probably come out Saturday if I'm really fast tomorrow. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to shoot tomorrow. it tomorrow. So I already have some okay. close ups and B roll, but tomorrow is okay. production day. And uh, hopefully Saturday if everything goes right. But I'm sure at the very least uh, after the weekend. Please keep in mind that we will meet us again on Saturday, <laughs> making pictures, yep. making. Uh, yeah, that's making that's still on my history. calendar. No, no worries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ma making pictures for history. Exactly. Historical pictures. Maybe I use this camera then. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm using. My, we'll keep... use my nose to take photos. That, 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 that will be <laughs> again water cannons and oh, yeah, from yeah. the police and uh, maybe we but, will stay in the rain but when you have an umbrella you can't you can't you know be outside of your umbrella so you just use your nose and then it's perfect <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, yes well, that's nice you can use your nose now for snapsheet you can that is the samuel nose, nose snapchat <laughs> oh thank you samuel thank you all to our Uh, to people watching us it was nice to be again with you yep. please uh, I think we will uh, put the video also on our YouTube channel please leave the comment or leave a comment if you like this type of uh, live chats with Lintaro and me maybe we will meet us again at this stage I don't know for the moment yeah always leave uh, us um, suggestions for topics under, yes, under the yes, video yes please, yes, please. tell yeah. us you like it uh, tell us what you don't like tell us tell what street photography is <laughs> yeah tell us what street photography is we, we uh, couldn't find and, out today so tell us and um, um, there is one thing I would like to say street photo international there is still the 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 the, 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 the competition as far as three or four days to win a GR Oh, yeah. uh, How many days left? I think three or four days left oh, now. Okay. And uh, please keep in mind, visit our Instagram channel, looking for SPI challenge and joining to win a camera. Yes. Yes. Are there any any people? Oh, now we got all the comments here. <laughs> all what we should do in the future. Uh, in the future. Uh, East Block Boy will be ah I'm back in Hamburg next weekend mm, cool uh, East Block Boy fine so uh, why not to have again our photo touristic groups walking through Hamburg good friends thank you very much for joining us yep thanks guys as well for, for, from your evening it was again nice to be with you Lintaro hoping we will have as always a pleasure uh, <laughs> to to <laughs> chat with you even though we are in the same city <laughs> okay yeah. yeah but i think what is better to see us face to no, face of sitting not. here to i don't want you to cough in my face <laughs> 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 no, no. what is it with your wife is she at home she's probably at home yeah <laughs> uh, okay and, and 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 mostly your your cat and your yeah. wife are with us and, and so you couldn't accept me as uh, another part <laughs> uh, of So let us stay like this. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. Uh, thank you very yep. much. And say, uh, 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 Ty says he couldn't uh, wait to see the next video. So please, you could see this video uh, and uh, again. So no problem. Etienne will put it on the 
on the uh, yeah, it will probably YouTube. take a few minutes for YouTube to uh, process it, but it yeah. until fifteenth, until fifteenth of June, we will have this SPI contest. Join okay. this, um, join join everything. Looking for Rico, looking for Pentax, and join everything. Give us a click and say subscribe. That's always good. Okay, yeah. and finally, and. And very, very honest, and if you visit our new web shop, you could also click there and order the camera. It's only 800 pieces for Germany, for Europe. Please be fast enough. Okay? And I will say thank you. Uh, and here again, the, uh, the street are ours. Yep. And uh, uh, I hope I understand the philosophy of photography and could do street photographs also on the beach thank you very much yep. and thanks see everyone you next time. see you next time bye Make sure to subscribe like and share <laughs> yeah yeah for sure okay bye bye so nope okay we are offline